Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. New details into how Chicago police caught a teenager charged with murdering a grandmother in Hegwish. A judge denying him bond today as prosecutors laid out the evidence. CBS 2 Stephen Graves is live. Stephen, surveillance videos played a huge part in leading police to this suspect. Jim, that's right, and we looked, we went looking for some more tonight. Videos throughout Chicago's South Side. Police say they tie this 17 year old not only to this grandmother's murder, but to a shooting and carjackings. He was dressed in all black, a mask over his face, identity concealed until tonight. Prosecutors identifying him as Malik Long, a 17 year old, one of two people Chicago police say is in this video. His partner seen shooting at 70 year old Yvonne Ruzich in this car. Her stepson talking to her from the other vehicle outside her workplace in Hegwish. Prosecutors say seven more shots from a different gun were fired from the suspect's vehicle into Rusijic's crashed car. She was hit four times. Chicago police believe the crew was after her vehicle and say the Saturn they were in was carjacked. Part of a spree they say started at 2 that August 16th morning. Seven victims in all. This map showing some locations. One in West Roseland had surveillance video. Prosecutors say it shows people in similar clothing to the suspects firing shots. No one was hurt. Documents say this stolen car used in the grandmother's murder had the carjacking victim's phone inside and a GPS tracker. It helped officers find the abandoned car in Roseland. Prior pings led them to this gas station at 116th and Michigan. Clerks did not give us surveillance video, but police have viewed it. Prosecutors say Long is seen buying cigar wrappers. The smoking gun for officers who say one wrapper later found in that stolen Saturn had his fingerprints on it. That, matched with video from multiple carjackings, led police to arrest Long at his home on Friday. Ruzic's family and friends relieved and grateful last night. Everybody clapped and stood up and it, it was just unbelievable that justice is being served. And Long is being charged as an adult. Chicago police say the community also helped identify Long as a suspect here. They are hoping the same type of tips can come in to help identify his accomplice, who police say is also a minor. Reporting in the Streetside Studio, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Jim. Stephen, thank you.